Now, the man who is known as the godfather of artificial intelligence worldwide is now warning that the rapidly expanding technology could actually make human beings extinct in just the next 30 years. He's calling the advances in AI technology similar to the Industrial Revolution. And only this time around, it is that the machines would turn out to be more intelligent than human beings themselves. Take a look at this board. Artificial intelligence can potentially wipe out humanity in the next 30 years. A reckoning that is all the more shocking as it comes from Professor Jeffrey Hinton, this year's Nobel Prize winner for his work on AI. Often called a godfather of AI, the British-Canadian computer scientist warns the pace of change in the technology is much faster than expected. This he says gives a 10 to 20 percent chance that AI could make human extinct within the next three decades. I think both Demis and I believe we are going to get super intelligence. It's not hype and it's not designed to distract from other, other problems with AI. It's what we have believed for a long time. Now, I thought it would be much further away, but the speed of recent developments means I think it's going to be quite soon. I think between 5 and 20 years, I think Demis thinks in about 10 years, we'll get something like superintelligence. And we have to worry seriously about how we stay in control then. Hinton points out that human beings have never had to deal with things more intelligent than themselves before, and compared with the intelligence of highly powerful AI systems. Hinton says humans could be like toddlers. Hinton made headlines last year after leaving his job at Google in order to speak more openly about the risks posed by unconstrained AI development. He has cited concerns that bad actors would use the technology to harm others. One of the shorter term dangers of AI is the development of lethal autonomous weapons and there isn't going to be any regulation there. If you look at the European regulations, for example, they have a specific clause in them that says none of these regulations apply to military uses of AI. So governments are unwilling to regulate themselves when it comes to lethal autonomous weapons. This has also been the key concern of AI safety campaigners who say the creation of artificial intelligence smarter than humans could lead to the technology posing an existential threat by evading human control. The fast pace of development is a reason why Hinton says there is no time to lose while stating that government regulation of the technology is pressing and imperative. Bureau Report, we are World is One. All right, so that of course is the big concern. Can humans go extinct because of the advancements in AI? To tell us more on this, we join this broadcast by Mr. Dan Fitzpatrick, who's the author of The AI Classroom and the founder of AIeducator.io, and he's also a chat GPT expert. He's joining us live on this broadcast. Mr. Fitzpatrick, this is a pretty, you know, pretty sort of uh, a dramatic sort of a warning that Jeffrey Hinton, the man who's recognized the godfather of artificial intelligence, has put out where he's saying that the advancements in AI are happening at such a rapid pace that the human species could go extinct in the next 30 years. What's your assessment on this? Yeah, it, it's very dramatic, isn't it? It's great to be with you. Thanks for having me. And and I, I think it's great that we've got people like Jeffrey Hinton out there who are sounding the alarm because I don't think we're doing it um, as much as we probably should. Now, do I think this is going to happen? Is our humans going to become extinct, extinct in the next 30 years? Well, Jeffrey Hinton himself even says there's a 10 to 20 percent chance. I mean, I still don't like those odds. I don't know about you, but they're they're too high for me. Um, I I think we've got to start preparing for it now, and there and there are going to be numbers of ways of doing this from from tackling how we deal with this from an educational point of view and how we bring the next generation's awareness. Mm -hmm. um, also, government I think that was also mentioned in your report. Governments coming together. I mean, we when we when we recognise that mass of uh, weapons of mass destruction were were going to be uh, a huge threat. The the world kind of came together and formed a treaty around this. Um, I think we probably need to do something similar for artificial intelligence, and also I think we need to get real and that 
we need to train our workforces how to work alongside AI because I think when we're not working with it, then it becomes an, an us versus them thing and we, right. we don't want to get into that position. Right. Now, artificial intelligence has, has many aspects to it. Now, there is stuff such as, um, you know, like what ChatGP does, does, for instance, that is write articles, complete sentences, or pro probably come up with works of art, which apparently for artificial intelligence is, is relatively more easier. But for a robot that is monitored through AI, if it just has to pull a chair and sit down, something that is very simple for human beings, that kind of a task is extremely hard for a robot that is, you know, handled by AI. Are we looking at the possibility that AI-driven robots can do stuff that we humans take for granted? Yeah, absolutely. And I think that's probably, for, for a while, those arguments have been made that, well, humans still have the, the advantage when it comes to um, motor skills, fine motor skills and so on. But I don't think that's going to be the case for much longer. We're already starting to see robotics. Now, I, I, I kind of, my living is, is raising awareness around this technology and helping people navigate this technology. And I'm still surprised when I show them, for example, the, the Tesla AI robot, mm -hmm. uh, which which is which has been talked about a lot. You go onto YouTube, you'll see examples of of robots that are similar as well. People are still shocked by how how advanced and how fast the progress is with this technology. And we're starting to see. And I think you're right. You're correct in saying that. Um, Tools like ChatGPT are, are, are can can generate language, can generate text, and it's going to take lots of different a multi pronged approach of AI. And we're starting to see that. We're seeing that within the robotics, like you say, um, in terms of a mixture of different AIs coming together to make these work, and they're they're advancing at pace, a, lot, a huge pace. Um, but also, I suppose one of the the major threats here, and I right. suppose what Jeffrey Hinton is hinting at, is that. Um, the the military grade side of AI and, and and how that's used on a military level as well. Interesting. Now human beings are conceited. We think we are intelligent. Not only do we think we are intelligent, we think we are special. We think God <laughs> created man in His own image. That's effectively what we think humans are. Uh, but do you think AI can have some kind of intelligence that human beings have? For instance, a lot of people say that it is human beings who can think originally. Is there a difference between how a human being thinks and an AI software thinks, which is essentially crunching out data that it has been trained upon. Yeah, it's such a fascinating question, isn't it? And and it is very different. It, it's very different in terms of how a large language model, which is the technology behind a tool like ChatGPT, works and how our human bra brains work. It's different, but that doesn't necessarily mean that I suppose our intelligence is better or their intelligence is better. I think it will come, they will, the intelligence capability of AI will start to, to get dangerously close to how, how our intelligence functions um, over the next few decades. Uh, but I think it will still fundamentally be different. And I suppose, I mean, people say that um, octopuses in, in, in the sea um, could potentially be more intelligent than us. It's just a very different type of intelligence. And I think that's what we're going to be dealing with here. We're going to be dealing with technology that, that possibly will be more intelligent than us, but it'll be a different type of intelligence. And I think the key battle here is going to be maintaining control of that and right. making sure we use that for good. Interesting. Thank you very much indeed, Mr. Dan Fitzpatrick, for joining us with that perspective. Thank you. There. Thanks. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.